grind some uh, berries in the coffee machine, perhaps. See what that does. Okay, so much for that. And there's nothing else I can toss in there. Alright, I guess it's tool testing time in the basement. Silence? That's okay. Oh, I didn't notice that before. British Seagull! The best outboard motor in the world! Except that that looks like a, a silhouette of something rising from the deep. And that guy looks really fucked. <laughs> Fucked in the sense of, um, screwed, as opposed to, um, looking weird. Still no power. Okay, can the drain be pulled up? You would think so, <laughs> with a crowbar. Maybe with a screwdriver. What about that? That'll probably benefit from some crowbarring. Yeah, there we go. Um. Wait, no, did I... And now... Hammer? Yeah, there we go. No more need to fiddle with the valve. Drain cover on the concrete. But what the, what do they actually do, I wonder? Interior of the furnace was as dark as the mouth of a wolf. In any case, I don't want to spend too much time near it. Okay, well, it seems to have done... something. I, w I just wonder what. What is this actually for? Valve goes upstairs. Perhaps I can have a nice hot meal considering I haven't eaten in like three days. <laughs> or was that for the range, perhaps? Firmly stuck in place. I read that sound, um, and the music, the boom kind of thing. It makes me think I'm hearing the scratches that occur in the night. It's subtle like that. It's playing games with my mind. Or was that the water, perhaps? Perhaps the water is running. I don't know what that valve was for. I don't seem to have... Maybe there's a note in my journal about it. No. Okay, well, let's see if this tap works. Water's running, but there seems to be a problem with the pipes. Okay. So that was getting the water running. There's nothing wrong with the pipes. Where else in the house are the pipes? Because it doesn't look like I can do anything else with the furnace. I can't crawl inside there. Again. Don't want to. Frankly, get soot all over my suit. Um, not to mention the demon babies living at the end of it. Pipes, pipes and pipes and pipes. Where are the pipes? 
pipes. Back outside, perhaps. So, like, I don't know if the, the greenhouse has something to do with it. Like, I seem to have been able to open the greenhouse. Maybe Jerry has a number for a plumber. No. Oh, wait, where's that bank's number? I do have the bank number, I can try that again. And it's Monday, they should be open this time. James Thomas Blackwood. Do you have a customer call back? I'm sorry, sir. I can't give you that kind of information. My name is William Bailey. I'm the police chief of Rothbury, and I need to update some information regarding an official case. Sir, I'm sure you know the procedure. I need the case file number. Yes, of course, I know that. Grab your pen. 27-94-0619 That's not even the right format, sir. You said your name was... Um, I won't waste your time anymore. Good day. Okay. Let's try that again. And hopefully he doesn't recognize my voice. Um... Because we're going to try it as the doctor now. It's really awkward that I can't retain that number in the, uh, the contacts. 01912, next is 9. Good thing I wrote this down ages ago. <laughs> Relax. What? Okay, that... Oh, that didn't help at all. Should have gone with the Dr. Milton angle. Damn. Though I have a feeling that probably would have come to the same conclusion. I, could... I don't think they would have been able to block that. Um... I mean, if that was important to the plot, I would would think that they would allow you to try the different tact if uh, if it was so important. Nice fire. Burn some berries. Doesn't do anything. Um, oh, blast! I really am stuck again. Maybe I should go write some book. <laughs> See if that'll progress anything. Doubt it will, but you never know. No, I knew it was fruitless. I couldn't write, I had to solve the mystery. It was really the only thing that mattered to me now. Okay, that's only one only one page, that was a productive trip. Plenty of things to investigate. Something told me that I wouldn't have any moments to rest this day. Okay, I guess, in the sake of progress, I will cut to when some is actually made. <laughs> A 
Aha! A tap! Success, Bacon! I knew the water had something to do with it. So now that should be gone. Um, maybe. I don't know. No? Damn. Something sounds like it's happening. The water seems to be flowing. Shiny object had been washed out of sight. Has it come around to this part? That doesn't seem to be useful. Well, it has been useful. But not in an immediate sense. I can't seem to see it. I have a feeling it's been washed out to the, uh... That little pond thing. Which was... Which direction? This way. Intuition correct. The object is, of course, a key. Been through a lot to get that small key. Damn Skippy. And this is either the key to the chapel or the key to that guy's desk. Since we're close to the chapel, I'll try that first. If it works, huzzah, we haven't wasted time. And if it hasn't, well, I'll just go back to the house. Really? Um, where's the actual lock? Surely, oh, that this is the one with the lock, so... Okay, obviously it's not for there. It must be for that guy's desk. It's the only other locked thing in the house I can think of. It's nice and warm now. My heat has started working. It's just to equate that with me lighting the fire and finally spreading warmth through the house. Okay, moment of truth, please. That's some success right there. So, what do we got? Aha! Damn, what was that number? 39529? Oh, okay, now that's... I, I can tell what it's doing. Um, what was that number? 9... I know the first number's 9. I know what it's for. Um, let's see. Dear Catherine, First of all, I beg you to take the utmost care in order to keep this letter away from James. I don't like to think of the mental breakdown he would suffer if he reads this. You know James much better than I do, so you must share any conviction that he'd never harm anything but. Even so, I'd ask you to be careful whenever he's around, at least until we sort out this situation. He has been extremely... I'm just making up words now. <laughs> he has been especially unstable lately, speaking about his determination to suppress this so-called curse. I truly fear for him and for his sanity. I wouldn't say he qualifies as dangerous, but just in case, be cautious. 
I've been playing the role of an ally who believes in James, and so far I think I've done a good job in convincing him. But I'm afraid it won't last for too much longer. I can't do all the things he's now asking me to. He has been delving into some very obscure arts, and some began, and what began as a hobby has now become a dangerous obsession. He wants me to perform an African ritual on that awful mask he bought. He is convinced that he has released an ancient spirit which will harm everything he loves and cares for. It's all so utterly insane that I'm ashamed to translate this into words. My biggest fear is that I will end up losing my own mind along with his. I have to put an end to all of this. <sighs> I need some water. <laughs> and about that other issue. You should know I've gotten over it, Catherine. What we all did two years ago. The decision we made and knew would affect the course of our lives has been haunting my sleep ever since then. I know you must be the one more affected though by this, but you wouldn't understand all that has been going through my head. The confusion, the contradiction. Now, more than ever, I'm not sure whether it was the right decision or not, but there's no turning back. We must face the consequences. <coughs> uh, I hate reading out loud. <laughs> Um, all I wanted to say about this is that I'm deeply sorry if I behaved erratically these past days and unnerved you. You have, in, uh, you have my word I won't ever reveal anything. Whatever you do with this letter, make sure James doesn't feel anything suspicious. I'd rather have you destroy this though. Extreme situations require extreme measures. Christopher. Was that the doctor? I think so. Draw on the study provided me with further revelations of the Blackwoods drama and a very tempting box. I still need to know a code to open it. And I know where that code is, so it's time to go get it. Um, Christopher Milton? Is that the doctor's name? Wilton? Um, I think so. I have to go to the child's bedroom anyway, so... Um, it's on the birth certificate. So it was it was a five digit code, wasn't it? Nine zero nine seven eight. Write down that one. Just in case. Nine zero nine seven eight. And what's the numbers on the top? Because I'll check those as well. In case there's a different code. Two nine six. It's very difficult to tell which ones are relevant. I think it's the ones on the floor, but then I'll just write them all down in sequence. So, left to right, two, nine. Is that supposed to be a nine, or is it just... It's a six. It looks like a six now, but because that block's upside down, is it meant to be a nine as well, or is it a six? So I'll put nine dash six. Nine slash six. There's a visible zero. Five, six. Now there's three visible numbers on this one. There's a six, a seven, a three, and there's an eight, four, and a one. It seems like it would be the one, the thing on the bottom there, but, um, uh, well, we have to see. Yes, Christopher E. Milton, that is the doctor. I was right about that. I think that's supposed to be like the sort of the clue uh, to direct you towards that room to get the code. You read the letter, you think, Christopher, where have I heard that name before? And you're just like, hmm, it, it was the doctor on the birth certificate for the child, which I found in that room, where there were some blocks with some numbers on the floor. So I hope I'm right. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Though the only... Well, I mean, 
there are numbers all over the place, but I think... I don't know, that's the connection I made. It's the Christopher and the box being the code on the floor. Okay, so what do we got? Um, 909. Nine, seven, eight. Oops. Okay, no. Damn. What the hell is the code? Was it six? Damn, it's not good. <sighs> Seems like I'm gonna have to go searching for a code again. things difficult to find. So despite the fact that those shears work well, would probably work very well on wire, there is a pair of pliers. So I guess we'll have to abandon the code for now. Um, I mean, I just had a feeling that they hadn't quite covered it. I mean, this is the only tool stock I could think of, so... Well, I was right. Um, Looks like we have a, a way to get into the crypt. And horror will ensue. It's always the problem with the point and click uh, genre is that to make you walk the appropriate path they have to come up with stuff that doesn't quite fit within the realms of reality. Considering that I could have gotten into these places years ago <laughs> after finding the hammer could have gotten in. Oh some wire. Interesting what's that for actually? Wire. Just nothing. You can see if I'd done that first, I would have thought about using that wire to get the key out of the drain, which probably wouldn't have worked, and I would have had to go through the rigmarole of starting up the the water and everything. It doesn't quite follow logic. Well, let's see it. Let's see what's in the crypt. Cold shiver ran down my spine as I entered the decaying crypt. The foul smell of rotting flesh. Seems to have persisted throughout the years. Well, that's not good. Couldn't imagine what the purpose of the grating in the floor was. Obviously, nobody down there was in need of fresh air. Yeah, like hell. Several candle holders were attached to the walls, but alas, there were no candles in the vicinity. Oh, man. Really? <sighs> okay, nothing is in the coffin. Weird. Though not really. Seriously considered what I was about to do, but my curiosity got the better of me. Hello, you look healthy. Corpses in advanced stages of decomposition inside the coffin. It was disgusting. Whoever that was, I could feel a sense of fear. I could see the feeling of terror in its dead face. 
body had been resting for several years until my disturbance. I decided to leave it alone. No, there's likely to be something on it. Like a key or something. Crack it open! Crack open the skull! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the logic of point and click adventure games is kind of getting to me. <laughs> Everything is a clue. Everything must be destroyed with a hammer. <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to leave it here because I've been playing for about an hour by my count. Um, and I made lots of progress. So I don't want to do everything at once. And this is a nice little cliffhanger sort of ending. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, things are certainly picking up with scratches. And uh, I'll make sure I come back to this. I'm, I'm going to be dreading the fact that I know that I have to go down to this crypt now. And some bad shit's going to happen. Um, but I must do this. I will complete this game. And I will be proud of doing it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll be back soonish with more scratches. So until then, have yourselves a good one, and I will catch you later.